Hey, <laughs> how the devil are you? So, um, so since I bought my uh, turntable record player, I've built up quite a decent collection of records. Not a huge amount. I've only got about between 45 and 50 of them, but it's enough, you know, to have the need for storage for them. At the moment, I've got them shoved in a cupboard, which is a pain in the air. Okay, because I've got to move everything up the way to get in there, to get a record out before I can play it. And I want something where I can have right by my hi-fi system so I can just get up the record, bam, there it is, sweet. So I bought this Gorilla record case here. So let's get it out of the box and have a look at it and see what it looks like and is it any good. So I've got it in carbon fibre, I did want the silver, I want this, I've got a black hi-fi system so I want this something a bit darker. So I went for this, it was slightly cheap, I think £29 this one was, and they go for around 35 but I got the carbon fibre one. So you've got the two flip things here, at the front, the flip locks. The lid is detachable, okay, so it doesn't stay on, you've got the detachable here, just so you can take it off I suppose, and it's easier to, easier to get access to the records. You get a free... Uh, record wipe cloth or whatever the hell it is a soft cloth i've already got one but i always want to do with a spare and it's actually lockable now this is good because you know <laughs> you've always got a family and you, there's always something someone in that family you don't want using your records you know you don't you don't want them up to no good with your records some sibling or some a kid or something like that so you may want to lock them up so they can't get at them. So this allows you to lock it up. So let's try that lock out. So pretty much, I think you just line it up. I have tried this out beforehand. And then, and then you just lock it up like that. And it prevents you then from opening that lock. I think they could, pretty could be forced. But if you don't want anyone touching your records, it's a handy little thing to have uh, these keys with it. Just keep them on your person at all times. <laughs> there you go. And it'll open again. So it's a pretty, it looks like a pretty well-made box. Um, I'm quite happy with it. But on closer inspection, you can see some things with it which I'm not particularly happy about. Let me get closer to it so I can show you. So, you know, when you look at it at first glance, it looks really good. Well made, a good sturdy handle, and you need that if you're carrying, you know, a pile of records in there, it's gonna be quite weighty, so you need that to be quite strong, and it feels quite strong. But there's some things, you know, that they could have uh, spotted uh, before sending them out, really. And if you can you notice this, look at that gap there. It's a massive gap here, and it, look, it's not a deal breaker, but, I don't know, I just think they could have, they could have, uh, you know, thought, oh, hang on a minute, this isn't fantastic, this needs to be flush, but it isn't flush, it's just sort of a big gap there. Not a minor issue. Inside the box, you've got this foam padding, which is handy. Uh, but it's, it's just literally a bit of foam stuck onto the sides, and you can see, look at the seams just there. It could be a little bit better, couldn't it? You know, is that going to come off here? Uh, I just think, you know, maybe, again, they could have put the seams a bit better. They just, just glued them on there. And that side as well. And you can also see in the lid is the same thing with the seams. They just glued in there, you know. And I could see that in time maybe popping off. I mean, I'll have to, I could glue it back on myself. But it could have been a little neater. Just, just a little bit neater, I think on the inside again it's not a deal breaker but you know i reckon in time they will start flaking off a little bit and i'll have to re-glue them but it's handy to have that phone to protect your records now so apart from these little minor things i think it's a decent case it's quite strong i don't think it's gonna it's not as strong as the old cases you used to get back in the 80s and 90s those flight cases they were they were built like brick poop houses, if you know what that is. It means very strong, <laughs> okay? They were built very strong. 
Uh, this seems, you know, like it's not quite as strong. The rivets don't seem as strong, but it, it'll serve its purpose and it looks nice. So it, apart from that, um, those things, I'm happy with it. Now, this is supposed to fit 80 records. I want to just check. Now I've got 50 records. I'm going to pop them in and see how it looks in there and would it fit 50. Okay, so I've got 49 albums here. Now I've counted the doubles as two to make it fair because they do take up the space of two albums. So I've got to be fair on that. And so would I fit another 31 in here? It's going to be a squeeze. So if I measure from here to here, okay, 30, I'd go 31 albums back, okay. That's about 100 and, if I push them back a little bit, you're looking at about about a hundred mil comfortably and if I put this here that's only measuring today about 85 mil so I suppose if I push them back really tight <laughs> really really tight if I push them right back I just about squeeze in another 31 albums with a push now the problem with that is this if they're in there that tight how do you look through them it, it just make it very very difficult I would say this will comfortably fit about 70 rather than 80 because you need some room to be able to at least look through your records to see which one you're choosing. How are you supposed to tell from the top? Like I know you can look on the side, but it'd be much easier. To put. So I think a box which flipped out a little bit at the front will be uh, adv advantageous rather than just a fixed box, but it is what it is. I reckon I can get 70 in there. So I've got another 21 to go. And there you go. So, uh, look, it's 30 quid. It's a, it's a relatively cheap solution to store your records. And you can, I can just put this right by my hi-fi and pick out a record when I want. It's got a few little niggles, which, look, it's not that bad, really. I mean, if you wanted to spend a lot more money, you could. But it serves its purpose, and it looks fine down by my hi-fi. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, so subscribe and like and all that nonsense. And I'll see you in the next video.